London Wasps training ground may not be the most glamorous of places, but one man who's been very much at home in the no frills facility over the past five years is former England captain Phil Vickery. The family business in Cornwall was meant to be Vickery's calling, but having been brought up to a life in farming, he chose rugby instead as a profession, becoming one of the game's most durable and admired tight head props. The front row was always had a little bit of mystery attached to it, the, the unknowns, the, the, the darkness, so to speak. But I think people I often get asked the question, would you want to play anywhere else? And I can honestly say no. I think being a front row forward is just very, very special. Phil spent his early years at Gloucester, winning his first England cap and World Cup medal during his 10 years there. But injuries cruelly interrupted his progress. So it was something of a gamble when he decided to leave for pastures new, with Ian McGeekin of Wasps prepared to take on the injury-plagued prop. I was probably in the worst shape I think I'd ever been in at that stage. I have done anything for over many months. He said, guys, you're actually a lot better than I thought. I was like, oh, brilliant, it was always right, we'll do this, we know we've got problems there, so we'll stay away from that, I think we can do that, we want to move on, or, or, you know, I think we can actually really help you. And it was kind of, that was just the way it was. And, you know, the first time I ever properly met Sean, Sean Edwards, was, he shook my hand and said, welcome, he said, we want to get you back to one of the best in the world again. And that was walked off, and that was it. And the risk paid off, with Vickery playing his part in Wasps Premiership and Heineken Cup winning campaigns. 2009 was also the year when he was called up for the British and Irish Lions tour to South Africa, a memorable and exacting series. In the first test, he faced Tendai Matawira, the beast, with the menacing Springbok loosehead dominating his more experienced opponent. Vickery would later describe this humiliation as the lowest point of his career. I think you always know you're going to be in for a roasting. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to work that one out. But I think, you know, when you've been put through the, the mixer as, as many times as I have, I wouldn't say not, not that you don't worry about it, it's just life. You've got to accept it, you've got to get on with it. You know when the coaches will make eye contact with you and, and you, know, you, know you're, <laughs> you know you're not in a, a very happy place. Uh, and as I said at the time, when you get back to your phone and you've got two texts, one from your wife, and one for your mum, and the mum, one for your mum says, you know, we still love you. Uh, you know, you know things aren't great. But the raging bull found partial redemption in the third and final test. It's nice, to, you know, to to finish the tour on the, on, in the way it did. If it, after the first game would have been would have been difficult in anyone's, but but you know, especially for me, and, and to get the opportunity to finish the game and to and to win it. To, Probably played in one of the best games of rugby I think I've ever been involved in. It was just phenomenal in a great way to, to you know to end my, my Lions career. Handed the captaincy by England coach Brian Ashton, his most testing time came during the 2007 Rugby World Cup in France, when England's defence of the Webb Ellis Cup was shrouded in controversy after it emerged that tensions between players and coaching staff may have been the reason for their poor start. The honesty meeting, which would have taken place, but because it was England, because we're in the World Cup, uh, you know, guys um, spoke their minds uh, as coaches did, and I think that the, the nice thing about it all was uh, we talked about it. People had their views. We all want the same thing. I think a lot of people try to to make that, you know, coaches wanted to do this and players didn't want to do that. And, Vice versa. You know, we all want the same thing. We all want to win. But, you know, when you've been written off that much, and some of the things which were written about the team, I can't remember them all, but you know, they weren't particularly pleasant. And some of them were, were, were quite justified, and some of it got beyond uh, a bit of a joke. It didn't didn't really need to say a huge amount. I mean, I was privileged to have been captain and and talk, but tried to talk in the way that I always that I always do. Um, and, and be there, but it was up to the guys showing what they could do and, and making sure that they went out and performed. And perform they did, defeating both Australia and France against the odds before facing South Africa in the final. And although they were second best on the day, his leadership through such a turbulent time helped win back the support of a nation.
I think that last last week it was just probably a, a week too long for us. But extremely proud of the guys and certainly couldn't have done any more. And, and everyone gave their all. And I think as captain, as a rugby player, something I've always said throughout my career is as long as you can do your very best. I know it's a corny thing to say, you can't do any more. But and I think the guys left everything in France. And as disappointing and as upset as, as it was to lose it, then you know we've done ourselves proud, but more importantly, we've done done our country proud. And, and I think we've stored a huge amount of pride in, in, in wearing our jersey again. Away from the pitch, Vickery supports the Rugby Players Association, offering a device and guidance on life after rugby. He's well qualified to do so as the director of a successful clothing company. So what does the future hold? I would dearly love to stay in the game, whether or not that uh, involves a coaching role or, or at what level, I, I don't really know. It's been my life and I sincerely hope that, that I you know, will never be out of the game, at least in some capacity anyway.